welcome back our topic for discussion will be protection relay setting for medium voltage bus coupler so our subject bus coupler will be located in this this one it's installed on 11 kb switch gear for the building f so this 11 kb switch gear is having a two in commerce which is also being supplied by another 11 kb switch gear at building a so this 11 kb switch gear from building a is having a cross tie feeder which is connecting 11 kb switch gear building a and 11 kb switch gear building b so this this is the cross tie from here this one okay meaning our the loads from this building f this building f okay is being supplied by four sources two from building a and two this one from building b so it's really a robust uh, power system wherein building F is being supplied by four power sources so this is our summary of our uh, protection relay setting calculation wherein we provided here the information for the uh, time over current relay for the phase and the ground so our subject for discussion we will be focused on this building F and this bus relay from this bus coupler then have, if you notice from here I provided the information here having part 1 part 2 up to part 8 meaning we will be having uh, 8 videos I will prepare later 8 videos including this uh, our session for today to understand how we perform each section from here the, the, uh, the setting for this each section and also to understand the coordination between downstream the building F and upstream the building B so if you notice here in the part 5 and part 6 we have here some directional relays bo both uh, phase element and ground element so to understand this information from here here our CTI here is 250 milliseconds so if in case that this building A is all the two power sources building A are not available and this building B only this source is available and this the second source also is not available so start from the bottom this relay this bus coupler will trip at 0.35 seconds so this is how we assign our CTI is 250 millisecond milliseconds or 0.25 seconds then the incomers here for the 11 kb switch gear of building F and the outgoing feeder supplying the building F 11 kb switch gear both these four relays are being set at 0.6 seconds next higher this 11 kb switch gear of building A is being set at 0.85 seconds okay so in commerce we're not going to uh, include this because this will out right so this this cross tie relays from here of building A and building B 
this will be we have here already 0.85 seconds right this one this will be 1.1 second okay both the um, time over current relay and our and also our directional relay so since if you see the arrow forms is going to the left right because the only source we have right now is this uh, this feeder from here so it will be 1.1 second the next one this is this will not this this is out will not be considering this so the next bus coupler from here the next breaker or relay is the bus coupler which is being assigned at 1.35 seconds so it's 250 milliseconds uh, ordination time interval then this really here is set at 1.6 seconds that is the if that is the case if our source of power is taken from this feeder from here but if in case that this feeder also is out and the one is working only is this feeder this feeder so the portion here so this one will be uh, 1.1 second this really here okay the other the bus coupler here, the same will be 0.85 second. These two breakers here will be 0.6 seconds, the same. But this one, our cross tie breaker here, since the power source is this, is taken from this feeder here, we will be using here the time which is 0.6 seconds. You see the arrow here is going to the right. So both. Uh, time over current relay and our directional relay will be adapting 0.6 seconds and then this will be out this will be out will not be considering this one right and our bus coupler here this will be considered downstream because a power source is on this side here and the, the time here set at 0.35 seconds so this is how we assign our coordination time interval so now if you have noticed from here we have assigned here already our settings for our time over current relay both phase element and ground element and also here our directional relay uh, both uh, phase element and ground element so for this video, we'll be considering only part one. Later, I will prepare a video which is will discuss each part here from part one to part eight. So this total power system here will be having eight videos. So let's start our calculation. So the bus coupler is with this bus bar here. So this will be this bus bar okay link to this bus bar also okay so this is our bus coupler then the relaying will be two relays we have f60 ge and micom p143 this is for the snyder our ct rating is 801 it it had is to one amper uh, 10 ve class 5p20 our pt is 1,100 volts into 110 volts so with the current of the bus bar is 800 our 11 kV minimum line to line fault is uh, 8,406 ampere and our ground fault is 409 ampere so let's start we will be having uh, for release here we have here 51 uh, in 51 relay and c51 relay will be having two threshold and we have also 51 here 51n 59 and and 27 relay so for and 51 
uh, we're going to discuss now regarding how we calculate the first threshold, this threshold. So, our setting is 120% of the rated current of the CT and the main bus bar, which is 800 ampere. So, 1.2 times 800, that's why our first threshold uh, over current setting or our uh, current pickup is 960 at 1.2 per unit. Then, our setting for the total um, time dial multiplier is 0 0.47 and we use here our curve is inverse time curve our rather our relay 51 curve is adapting I triple E very inverse so this is our equation and these are the constants for uh, this equation which is taken from IE triple standard and here our pickup time is 0 0.35 second if we go back from here we assign here this bottom this downstream both our phase element and ground element the pickup time is 0 0.35 seconds so that's why we have we provided here 0 0.35 seconds so we'll just substitute all the information from here the I triple E constant the time and also our uh, full current which is 8406 and our pickup current which is also 960 all this information here our tal dial multiplier is 0 0.47 for the first threshold our second threshold will be 105% of the downstream threshold protect protection setting so our downstream from here if you check from here downstream that has to be coordinate here downstream okay so is having 3900 amperes so this one from so just will be multiplied by 105 percent we come out our on our second threshold the pickup current is 4080 amper and or 5.1 per unit. We'll just multiply this one by 1 over 800 our CT ratio. That's why we come out here uh, to be 5.1 per unit. So our time setting is definite time set at 0 0.35 seconds. So it is being reflected here our first element setting which is 4080 ampere at 0.35 seconds so next our earthfall protection or our ANSI 51N setting the threshold will be 12% of the rated current of the CT which is 0.12 times 800 so our pickup current for our ground element is 96 ampere at 0.12 per unit and it's being set the time is definite time set at 0.35 seconds so we have this information from here the 51N is being set at 96 ampere at 0.35 seconds so that is for our air fault protection the remaining two for the voltage protection we have here the ANC 59 or the phase over voltage protection. So this threshold is set at 100% of the rated voltage. So that's why we have here 115% of the 11 KB. We have here 12,650. So the pickup uh, setting, voltage setting is 12,650 volts at 1.15 1 per unit. 
with a definite time set at 1.75 seconds. So, uh, we need also to remember that this time has to coordinate also with our upstream uh, relay. So, when we discuss on our part two of our video, we will uh, specify and have will have a comparison between our time setting for our ANSI 59 and ANSI 27 between downstream and upstream relay. Our face under voltage protection or ANSI 27, our threshold is 80% of the rated voltage which is the 11 kV. Our pick up under voltage is 8,800 volts at 0.80 per unit which is set with a definite time at 3.25 seconds. Thanks for watching.